This is Changemakers with Katie Gore, finding the right solutions for the affordable housing community. Thanks for joining me once again for my talk with Changemaker Anu Natarajan, the housing initiative lead at Meta. Anu, in part one, we talked about why Meta, formerly known as Facebook, got involved in the housing industry. And now, Anu, I'd love for you to talk some more about the partnerships you've referred to. You mentioned LISC in the Bay Area, but who are some of the other community organizations and advocates you're working with? So one of the other early partners that Facebook was involved in uh, starting is the Partnership for the Bay's Future. Um, They have, in addition to our community housing fund, another set of funds to promote housing investment. We work with them on uh, policy issues. Um, We work with the League of Women Voters that we are very happy to support uh, to help them diversify and bring in new membership and also focus on their work with housing issues. Uh, We have several affordable housing advocacy groups like the Nonprofit Housing of Northern California, Silicon Valley at Home. We also work with the Bay Area Council, Silicon Valley Leadership Group, and other business organizations. So um, in the other partners that we have um, are all home. They're doing an amazing job addressing homelessness. Um, And we also work with enterprise community partners who've been um, instrumental in providing technical assistance work for uh, Project Home Key. So are these more mutual initiatives that you guys are both identifying together or are you helping them, you know, expand or execute their existing initiatives? We're doing both. Um, Some of them are mutual in in thinking about it together. We also understand very clearly that we are coming into um, the space, this affordable housing um, space where there have been many partners and organizations working for a long time in addressing these issues. So we come to the table as a partner wanting to be part of the solution and wanting to scale up some of these efforts with with additional resources. But we also recognize that we can bring non-traditional partnerships together, be more collaborative in in bridging some of the silos that exist in the space. And that's one of the roles that we take seriously is to be a facilitator for bringing folks together to have conversations and partner in moving things forward. You know, one of the things that when Meta first announced, or it was Facebook at the time, announced that they were getting into the affordable housing arena, there was quite a bit of chatter trying to identify, you know, exactly what the goals were going to be or how it was going to be accomplished or, you know, what it was going to look like. But, you know, really, as you guys have started to embrace this journey, you know, you guys have incorporated it into, you know, your job description and, you know, your leveraging of funds. And you've really taken quite an involved, you know, task in this arena. You know, what would you say as as this journey has really evolved? What would you say is some of the highlights that you have seen as you've gotten more entrenched here? I think the the two years in this space has provided Meta with a really solid understanding of what exists, where we need to jump in and help facilitate some additional initiatives. Um, And in doing so, we are at a point where we've got three pillars to our work. We've got the investment funds that we've talked about. Um, We've got the policy reform, policy modernization, where we work at the different levels of government and with our partners. And the third pillar is what we are calling the civic infrastructure, creating a civic infrastructure to make housing happen and and to look at breaking down some of the systems um, that that are roadblocks. For instance, we believe that um, there's a ton of data out there, but nobody has access to it or it's not easily understandable. Um, So we're working with HCD, um, the Housing and Community Development Department in Sacramento, to really facilitate some of those data infrastructure needs from from unfolding in in terms of being able to share the the wealth of information that they have, creating opportunities for education and awareness. We just wrapped up a three-session webinar series 
for council members in San Mateo and Santa Clara counties, really providing them with a safe space to discuss some of the issues and concerns they have about the upcoming housing element update work that each city is embarking on, and to provide them with some best practices and some innovative ideas that we've gleaned from other areas. Um, and that was really well received. And so we believe that continuing that communications, uh, the narrative and storytelling of the arc of the housing crisis and understanding the context and trade-offs of not doing anything is something that we can um, really focus and work on. Um, we're embarking on a hearts and minds campaign uh, again to build on the values that people have to connect housing to climate change goals that a lot of people so strongly believe in and to look at housing more as um, infrastructure and look at it as a regional issue instead of a citywide issue. So when you try to describe what you do on a day to day to your family, <laughs> how do you succinctly tell them what you do? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I, I don't think we've come up with a 30 second soundbite on that one yet, but um, I think it's it's really partnering with different stakeholders to help understand how deep this crisis is and how it's going to impact not just our generation, but future generations. Um, if we are to continue to make the Bay Area a thriving place, California, the state that welcomes everybody, we need to really solve this crisis. Uh, I know this didn't answer your question, but at its core, Meta is about enabling people to build communities. The housing initiative reflects that value and is about helping communities be inclusive and, and thriving centers where everybody feels that they can belong and have choices with housing that they live in, mobility, and a place to call home. You know, the emphasis on even having access or mobility or decent and safe sanitary housing, however you look at to find this, you know, we each have such a role and anybody who's in this space, you know, has a certain advocacy hat that they wear and whether they want to be involved in myth busting stereotypes about people who need housing or what the housing should or shouldn't look like, you know, there's so many avenues for every one of us to have a seat at the table to try to craft the better affordable housing or the better access to housing. And what's so fascinating about what you're doing is that you're really focusing on a specific area that has been at a crisis level for quite a long time, but yet you're bringing real investment to existing infrastructure. And that's a unique solution making that really meta is well suited for. And I guess my question here is, have you seen interest from other private industries and private corporations try to replicate what you're doing here? I believe um, we are beginning to have conversations with others that are doing um, work in the space. We've reached out to Google. Um, we're talking to them about their interest in the missing middle housing space. And my hope in the next year or so is to be able to connect with others who are interested in increasing the supply of housing, interested in exploring what that looks for, for moderate income slash missing middle housing, and, and pull in more partners to do this work more collectively. And uh, my assumption is as we start to launch the second tranche of funding and try and get some structures in place that it might be easier to have conversations with others, both in terms of the missing middle work um, and also, uh, as we discussed earlier, the teacher housing project. Her name is Anu Natarajan, the housing initiative lead at Meta. She is a fellow champion and advocate for affordable housing, and we are thrilled to have met her. Anu, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I enjoy talking to you. Thanks for listening to Changemakers with Katie Gore. To find out more about Katie, go to quadel.com. That's Q-U-A-D-E-L.com. This has been a production of Forbes Books Radio.